timer already? The universe. What? Okay. <clears throat> Steve Rubin once said, the fundamental principles of anarchy rely on the complete and total destruction of all things government. Beyond that, there is love and nothing more. Hello, my name is Hunter Dunn. And I'm Dylan Gillespie. And this is The Universe. By Tim Heidecker. And Eric Wareheim. So, uh, bu bu buckle on up. It's going to be real, real wild, wild rides. The Universe. <laughs> what a <Yeah>. concept. <laughs> <laughs> You know the universe. It's a little bit like the human hand. For example, right here you've got a Grauman's crest. Here's Tillman Center. Right here's a Sector 9. Right here's a Pullman's Reach. You can kind of picture it. It's a little bit like a leaf or um. It's not a bowl. No, it's not a bowl. No. Now, the the, the universe is is kind of like a new woman that I was gonna date. You know you're. You're, you're you're dark and and, and you're you're massive and, and you've got this 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 big black hole and I just want to just dive in and just <laughs> and just see what's gonna come out of that and just explore all these all these all these elements elements about you and and, and you know the, the the time that it takes to get from from one one star from another star is just it's, and as humans we can't even fathom that kind of that kind of time because it's really <laughs> Just think about yeah. going on a journey like that. <laughs> <laughs> you put the universe into a tube, it would expand to two times the size of the tube. Two because times. when you put the universe into a tube, two. it would expand to. Well, when the, when the we get. You wouldn't want to put the universe into a tube. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Take all the stars, all of the hundreds and thousands, and lots of the hundreds and uh, all, of, you know, all the stars, and put those stars into a hot dog bun, and put the hot dog bun into a bag, yeah. and now you're looking at. When I was a child, there that be <laughs> nine planets, but now there are ninety. Every star has a sister star. Now, now if you can imagine that you could see. All the way around his um, his eyeball, the inside of his eyes. If you could see around his eyes, that'd be a 360. A complete 360. 360 degree eyeball. And, you know, and 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 what what conclusion does this lead us to? Well, well, the penultimate fates of of the universe. They they're so so dark and and my mysterious that 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 they just generate these. These uh, flies in my stomach. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah, okay. anytime. And and then that they move on to whoosh, these uh, all these goose uh, pimples on my skins and and then this just whoosh, 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 just just this trickles on my spine and then this moves into my, my whole brains and then and then the whole big bang just just just. Stars can be a lot of fun. A lot of people say, hey, Donna. You get so wrapped up in the physics of it, don't you have any fun? I'm like, well, hey. I go up and out with my telescope, and I see the little dipster. Yes, or I see the big dipster. Yes, sir. You know, when, when you, when, when you look at a planet in the night sky or the day sky, and you see the, you see that light, that light, that light's not even there. there. No. That's just, that's just a, that's just a light, that's just your neighbor shining a flashlight in his backyard looking for raccoons. And he, and he sees me, and he says, he says, what are you doing in my backyard? And I said, I'm teaching your son about the universe. And he says, I, I don't understand, why are you dressed in all black, behind, behind my bushes, why, why are you communicating to my son? And, and I said, I said, I turn the light on, and, and, and I look in your son's room, and I explore your son, and I explore his room, and, and then, and then, and then he looks out at me, and he sees the universe, and he explores the whole universe. And he learns about the universe. And I turn the light off, and I watch your son take his nightly respite. And then, quieter than the quietest mouse you ever did hear. Hey, you can say that again. No, not not gonna say that again. Okay. I turn the light back on. And I trace the swirls of a comet's tail upon his wall. I do this every night with your son. Every night. Every night. 
What's up? There's a star or a moon or a sun or a Is it a moon or a planet? No one knows. I don't know. No one really knows what's on the ground or in the sky. And, 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 and you see, no one knows. And son, I try to teach you about the universe. And, and you just you just want to go outside and play with your other friends. And dad, dad, can I go out and play? No, son, no! no, no, no. <laughs> Beautiful Anne Graham, I like to use to teach my students about the universe. It goes to the universe. Understand it? NASA, visibility, vectors, electricity, responsibility, and N. Because it's the end of the anagram, you doofs. <laughs> it's not a joke. Sorry. Okay, we'll talk about this later. Okay. Anyway, if you can remember um, those seven words, you can remember the word universe. Take, take, take a basketball or a smaller baseball that, that expands the size of a basketball and, and then and quadruple that. And now you're looking at a. Maybe, maybe, maybe pops is right. Danny, don't, don't, don't listen, don't listen to, don't listen to Danny. Just cause he, just cause he married your mom doesn't mean he's a real dad. Bring it in. Thanks, Maurice. It's just been so hard since Patricia left. I understand. One, two, three. Aww. Aww. Now, son, I'm just so disappointed that you. I don't even care what I do at work with my work friend Donna, and 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 and, and I'm just trying to educate youngsters the, of yeah, any the, ages, the, the young little youngsters ones, or the adult youngsters, the littlest to the biggest youngsters. I just try to educate them about the universe. And 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 Dad, Dad, can we live on the sun? No, son, you can't, cause it's the hot fire inferno. <laughs> <laughs> Great way to remember the solar system. I teach my students this. Conform to steeple configuration of your hands and just simply rattle them off. One, one, one. Earth, Jupiter, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, planet, Jupiter, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then there's Rectus 9, and then there's a trash can man. That's a real good planet. And then there's uh, all these new planets, these beautiful new planets from discovered <laughs> inside. Or, Inside of our very own sun, like for example, there's a, a wet planet. Yeah, that's a good planet. <laughs> oh yeah, small planet. Can't it can't be seen. No, no, sir. And we have no evidence these planets exist <laughs> except our evidence shows our our, our data or the tortographs. The tortographs tor tor show as probability as they do, not that they don't. Thank you for watching. I'm Dylan Gillespie. I'm Hunter Dunn. Hey Hunter, do you know what my name is? Yeah, you just told us. It's Dylan Gillespie. Actually, it's Totino's Pizza Boy. Because this presentation of Universe is brought to you by Totino's Pizza Rolls. The original punk, punk rock, rock pizza, pizza rolls. rolls. One, two, three. Totino's, Totino's, how did you know? Totino, Totino's. I put Totino's pizza in my mouth five, five times, times a day. A day. <sighs> Thank you very much.